My name is Arthur Huang. I'm an architect, engineer, and National Geographic explorer. I'm in Singapore to find out how the country is fighting the challenge of climate change. Wow, this is a lot of trash. And striving towards a zero waste future. This is San Macau, Singapore's one and only offshore landfill. It is eight kilometers off the southern tip of Singapore. It's an island full of nature. I can believe that this is actually a landfill of all the waste that's coming from Singapore. Every day, at least one batch of waste will come here. So, how many tons a day? Uh, average is uh, slightly more than 2,000 tons of uh, waste will be brought to Samakao landfill. Then you get transported onto a truck, right? Yes. And then that goes to the landfill. All right. So how quickly is it filling up? Well, if you based on the current rate of waste we receive, this landfill will be filled up by 2035. So if we reduce the waste consumption, we can make this last much longer, right? Of course. You cannot keep creating places like this. So to reduce the impact, we have to reduce the amount of waste we produce on land eight kilometers away. Wow, <laughs> this is a lot of trash. Yes, yes. Do you know where this is coming from? This actually comes from the blue bin, the blue recycle bin. We receive about 50 tons per day from the blue bin. 50 tons a day. Yes. But a lot of this is not recyclable. Recycling in Singapore is relatively easy. You put everything that's recyclable into the blue bin. However, you get diapers, garden waste, and you get contaminated food containers. Come on, guys, we can do better. For this station, we're looking for PET bottles, like this. All the drink and soft drink containers. Food waste is normally what's contaminating the recyclables. Do you see this? They did not dump out the, uh, the drinks inside. This is contaminating the recycling process. The next step is to take this recycled waste and turn that into new generation of products. Now it's going to take us into a circular economy and into a zero-waste future. We just saw all the waste from all the packaging and turned that into new building material for the new generation of pallets. Wow. No, so this is all about giving new life to the waste that we throw away. Wow, this is still warm. It's like a granola bar. If we recycle right, a zero-waste future is possible today. <laughs>